twist the camera around, but we'll do, we'll shine it over there. Another group of deer came in. I'll show you guys. So two doe and a buck over there. That doesn't seem to be bothering him a bit. One there. There's two more up there. And there's the original three that came in. Let me zoom out a little. There's another one coming up. I don't see any more yet, but at the moment there's six of them. But if you guys hunt or just want to watch. Pretty cool, you won't spook them with it. First, there we go. Okay, so it's got a good hot spot, quite a bit of spill to it. So, that tree line over there, where I'm at right now, is about 70 yards back out to there. Not showing up real well on camera but i can see it real well you know with my eye and that's right at 100 yards so it, it's easily lighting up 100 yards let's see let's move it over this way a little bit that tree there's eh, probably right around 60 yards 55 60 yards and you got the open pasture over there which it shines a pretty good ways I don't know if the camera's going to pick up. There's a telephone pole. I can see it, but I don't think I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But that one's uh, 100 and, 128 yards away. I was out there playing with a rangefinder one day and just kind of measuring see distances on things. But there's a the white light. I say it's got good hot spot, plenty of spill to it. It's definitely a thrower, just because that deep reflected. It's smooth. Okay. I got the other mod, and it is the red one. All right, pretty much the same thing as the white one. Good hot spot, decent spill around it. Now, how well the cameras? The camera doesn't pick up the red and the green as well, but there's the trees at about 80 yards. I can actually see the hot spot a little better on the camera than I can with my eye, but. Yeah, it's, it's easily shining out to 100 yards. Move it around this way. I got it. Yeah, I can see the telephone pole with it. It's lighting it up. Yeah, you, I don't think you can see it on the camera, though. But, like I said, the main, this is the main one I've been using. It's the red. I've got another, a couple other green lights that I've been using. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the red, especially with night vision. If you've got some an older gen night vision, you know, doesn't have a real bright illuminator on it, this thing will, it's a game changer for that night vision. You, you leave your illuminator off, turn this thing on, and three, four hundred yards is easy to see with it. So, yeah, it, it makes a big difference. The red one or the green one, either one works good with the night vision. I, I've been, don't ever make it to video. Okay, here is the green. Really bright hot spot on this one. To me, it actually seems brighter than the white one. It's I know it's not, but I can just see better with it. But yeah, 100 yards, easy. And there's my cat. Let's pan around here to the pole. Yeah, I don't think you can see it with the light, but yeah. But anyway, there's the beam shots. I'll say it's a really good thrower for the for the price point on it. You just you can't beat it. So I'll put a link down in the description to it and. I don't get any kickbacks or anything from it, unfortunately, but you know, 
it's a good product. You know, it was sent to me for free, and if it's good, I'll tell you guys about it. And you know, if you're interested in one, go pick one up and check it out for yourself. Anyway, guys, it's late. I gotta go to work in the morning. So we'll catch you in the next one. Later.